Welcome to Dodger Stadium. MLB the show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers going up against the Chicago White Sox. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So just about set now. And today on the hill, Dylan Cease. What do you have on him, Chris? Four-pitch guy. He's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order, and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. The first base is number five. Freddie. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. And that one fouled off. No score just getting started top of the first. That one hammered left field. That's back. And it hits the base of the wall. He's in at second with a one out double. Seems like he got exactly what he was That's looking good. for right there. The well deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. One down. The batter now will be Will Smith. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. That one ripped. Gone! A two-run homer. Just like that, they move in front. It's 2-0. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise. Singy, I hope you saw it because it didn't stay in the air for long. No, it didn't move. StatCast telling us 110 miles per hour off the bat, and that's plenty to hit one out if you get enough air under it. As a hitter, you hardly feel the ball when you make contact as solid as he did right there. Max Muncy at the dish. Hard hit, right side. They get the out on Muncy. Fastball proved right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. Two outs, space is empty. J.D. Martinez steps to the plate for the Dodgers. On the ground to the left. In time to ball. Third out. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. And it's two zip Dodgers. Back here at Dodger Stadium, pitching in our game today, Clayton Kershaw. Yeah, Boog, when you're a teammate of a guy like this, you love when it's his turn to pitch. He's out there on the mound carrying himself with a ton of confidence. That gives other guys confidence that, hey, the other team's not going to score much. All we've got to do is have good at bats, put up some runs, and we should be able to get a win. He's got some of the best stuff around the league. So if he's on, he has the ability to control the game, and guys aren't really going to get much to hit. And here it comes. Tim Anderson stands in now and watches strike one. Now 
Next pitch has popped up. And they take care of Anderson for the out. And there's one away. Batting second, the center fielder, Luis. Luis Robert now. Robert. Nice warm day here, good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it in that part. You can that get on the hurt. inside part of the plate as well. Boy, that hurt. was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think that he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. And first offering is fouled off. And Boog, hitters can be a little less aggressive on hard stuff in early in the season just because of how cold it is and, and not wanting to get a stinger. Now, you think, oh, it's just a jam it's shot, it's a broken bat, but sometimes guys get deep thumb bruises that can linger for a while. So, you know, you just want to avoid that if you can, but at the end of an at-bat, you're just trying to battle no matter what. Kershaw fires just oh. missed the guy that I've encountered that hates the cold weather the most Mookie Betts I mean he grew up in Tennessee so it's not exactly like balmy there I mean it gets a little chilly in Tennessee but under 60 degrees he will wear two sets of batting gloves one on top of the other and sometimes and down on strikes he goes that ends the frame shy Sox held in check here and they're down to nothing 